Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your Chia plots using the command line tool. And as of right now, I don't believe there is a way to check them in the GUI. So th this is the only way to make sure that your plots are valid and are farming correctly. And this is important because if you open up Chia and you look at your plot, and you think everything's good and well if you see your plots say farming, but this is not necessarily the case, as we'll see after we check some plots. So in order to check plots, you're going to have to go to uh, the command line or open up PowerShell. And I'm going to do this on a remote harvester. So open up PowerShell, and you're going to need to go to the directory in which the command line tool lives. And so you're going to type in cd, and then type in the env um, local app. And then from there, you can hit tab. And then you can type in uh, chia, hit tab again. And then you're going to want to go to app, resources, uh, app unpack, and then Damien. And then from here, you can use the Chia command line tool. So the command that we want to use is uh, the plots check command. So we're going to type in Chia. Make sure you hit tab to, to have it dot source it. And then you're going to do um, plots check. And first, let's do the dash H so that we can get the help directly from the command line. And here we can see that there's some parameters that you can use. So the dash n parameter is the number, I'm not sure why I say this number of plots, but the number of challenges that are going to be sent to these plots, meaning um, that for each challenge, there should be one proof that's found. Now, and that will affect the ratio that you get in the n. The dash g command or parameter will allow you to filter out the plot. So if you have 70 plots and you only want to get plots in a certain directory, well, you can use that, and we'll, we'll see the demonstration of that. Uh, the dash L is like a switch parameter, um, so you can basically do dash L, and then it'll also list out duplicate IDs, and we'll see the best way to do that. Um, you can, I'm not exactly sure what this one does, so we're going to ignore that, and I don't see it in the uh, wiki documentation. And this one I kind of played around with to see what, exactly what it does, and basically, uh, it will change where in the uh, challenges that it starts. And I'll explain that more later on. And then, of course, dash H gets this help. So the first thing that you want to do to start off, let's say that you never checked any of your plots before, and you just want to check them all at once, you can do Chia plots check. And now this will do the default. So it will look at your config file, and then it will find the plots listed in your config file. And then from there, it's going to do the default number of challenges. So it's going to do basically put in 30 for this uh, dash n um, parameter. And so now it's found the my plot on this uh, harvester, and now it's running the challenges. Now, depending on your computer, this can take you know about 10, 15 seconds, um, or even longer for each plot. So you know if you do have like 150 plots you might not want to check all of them all the time, which is why we'll start using the dash G to only check the plots that we want to check. So let's let this one finish up and then we can go. Okay, so the plot check finally finished and here we can see the results of the plot check. So it found 26 out of 30 proofs in the challenges. And this is considered acceptable ratio, the 0.86 for the 30 challenges. So we don't probably have to test this plot again. We can have confidence knowing that you know it's a valid plot and it's working. Now you might see up here that I got a warning, and this warning is basically telling us that this particular plot it doesn't have the same farmer or pool public key than this machine, and that's because this is a harvester, and I didn't add my private keys to this machine, and that's why that's different. So if you did the same thing, then this is nothing to worry about. And here again, it is basically saying this again, it found one plot with the farmer or pool public key that don't match this machine. Now, let's say that we have 70 plots, like I have on my full node, and I don't want to check all the plots. I just want to check plots maybe on a particular date that was created or in a particular directory. Well, in order to do this, you're going to use the dash G um, parameter. So let's go back to the wiki to see how this works. So here we can see that it checks plots uh, by filtering either by the directory or the file name. And it is case sensitive. So if you have a capital letter in the uh, file path, then you need to have a capital letter when searching it. And here it says that it, um, if it, this parameter isn't specified, then it's just going to get all the plots in the plot directories in your config file. 
So let's go ahead and try this out. Let me uh, open up my PowerShell. And then let's first get all the directories that it will check. So you can do this by doing chia plots show. And this will show all the directories that um, your chia full node or uh, farmer is looking at for plots. So let's go ahead and get all the plots, check all the plots in this directory called H um, pumpkin. So we'll do chia plots check, do the dash G. And then you're probably gonna wanna put this in quotes because if you do have a space in the file path, then it will require to be put in either double or single quotes. All right, and then if we hit uh, enter, here we can see that it is searching through all the directories that we showed up here and it's only loading plots that contain this string in it. So it loaded the one plot that's in that folder and now it's checking that plot. So let's go ahead and let that finish and um, continue from there. Okay, so the plot check has finished and here we can see again that it's a uh, 27 out of 30, 0.9 ratio. This is an acceptable ratio and so it's found one valid plot. Now let's try to do the same thing, but let's um, do a lowercase p instead of a capital case or capital letter. And here it says it found zero valid plots. So again, whenever you're trying to do the dash g, just make sure to keep in mind that it is case sensitive. All right, now you might uh, be wondering what is the acceptable ratio? You know, I said 0.9 is, I said 0.86 is the acceptable ratio. So let's go back to the uh, wiki. And if we look under the dash n, so the dash n represents the number of challenges. The default number of challenges is 30. And they basically say that this should be sufficient to check whether a plot is valid or not. Um, you can do like a minimum of five if you just want to quickly check to make sure that it, it is accepting challenges correctly. Um, and this is important to note here too, that the, that the um, challenges are not random. Meaning if you do the same uh, check on the same plot with the default 30, well, it's going to come out the same time, um, the same ratio every single time. So you can't just do the same default uh, in order to recheck a plot to see if, it, if the ratio goes up. And I'll show you how to do that um, pretty soon. So this goes step by step through what is exactly happening. But let's try to find where I found this uh, ratio, what, what's acceptable. So here it says that um, a ratio less than one, you know, is, is rather unlucky for these challenges, but you really shouldn't worry unless the ratio is less than 0.7, in which I do have a particular plot that is less than 0.7. However, that plot's still valid, as I'll show you why. So because it says if you do more uh, chia plot checks by increasing the n number, well then they do expect that the ratio should get closer to one, um, given the large number uh, of, of checks that it's doing. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me go back to PowerShell. And then I actually have a um, particular unlucky plot on the, on the first 30 challenges. So let me get that real fast. It is this one. So let me run a plot check on this. Or let me do dash G to only run it on this plot. Okay, so this particular plot does have a pretty unlucky challenge result, 19 out of 30, which results in 0.63, which is you know pretty well below the 0.7 that they recommend. So is this plot invalid? Should I delete it? Well, no, you shouldn't delete it on just the base 30 default plot uh, check. You should try it with more. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do the dash n to change the number of challenges we want to throw at it. And let's throw the let's throw double. So let's do 60. Okay, so this uh, plot check with 60 challenges returned. And now we can see that it went up a little bit, but still below 0.7. So let's go ahead and try to double it again and see if we get a different result. All right, so after doing 120 challenges, we can see that this number raised pretty good, you know, 0.95, which is well be uh, above 0.7 and as we increase the number of challenges we do expect this number to get closer and closer to one as noted in the wiki so these challenges that we're throwing at it are actually the same challenges so you know let's say that we throw five challenges at it right 
and we see that only two out of five challenges are passed. And let's throw this another five challenges at it. Well, we get the same result. And that's because these challenges aren't dynamically created. It, it seems that they are statically created, meaning that in order to accurately test the plot, you're gonna to have to increase the number of challenges. So this brings me to the next parameter that I want to talk about. And this parameter currently is not uh, documented on the online wiki. And this is the challenge start parameter. So let's go ahead and do chia plots check with the dash h to get that parameter name again. And here we can see that it's called challenge uh, dash start. And this says that it begins a different start for the end challenges. Because these challenges are static and they're in order every time, the first challenges are always going to be the same. So for a plot, you know, those first 30 challenges particularly could be just unlucky for that plot. So for instance, if we do um, dash five again, or in dash n five, we'll get the same two out of five ratio. However, if we do dash dash start, or sorry, challenge start, and we do five, well this will skip over the first five challenges and do the challenges from five to 10. And here we can see that we do get a different uh, proof ratio, which is one out of five, which is actually worse. So now let's actually backtrack and let's exit this out and do the first 10 challenges. So we should expect three out of 10 because it's gonna be the first five that we got before, which is two out of five, and then the second, which is one out of five. And here we can see that. So if the first 30 challenges are bad for a particular plot, well, they're always gonna be bad. So in, in our example, we saw that the um, 120 was uh, the kind of the breaking point for this plot and which made it more valid. So let's go ahead and do the default 30. However, let's change the challenge start to 60. So we're gonna go from 60 to 120, which is where we saw a big difference. And here I expect it to be above 0.7, even though we're still only checking 60 plots or, or 60 challenges, my apologies. Okay, so here we can actually see that the, the, the second 60 are actually really great for this plot. You know, 41 over 30, which is 1.3. So that just goes to show you that you, you can't trust the first 30 challenges for every plot. And it might be good to change out the, the challenge start if you don't want to run, let's say, a thousand challenges. You just want to change the first 30. So the next thing I want to show you is where you come across plots that are, are actually invalid because I haven't come across a plot that's just incredibly unlucky where the number of challenges didn't solve it. So let's go ahead and do Chia, Chia plot check and then I'm going to do dash G and this is the plot that is actually invalid so here we actually get an error, and we get this error where it says error in providing, uh, proving and verifying the plot. Now, I don't know exactly if this means the plot is just completely invalid, but it does make you wonder, you know, so you do have these plots, and all mine say farming. So if, if I find this plot, it's going to say that it is farming. However, I get an error where it just says 1 out of 30. And even if I do, um, you know, dash in or uh, start challenge, challenge start, and I do the next 30, I get the same results. However, um, this time it actually does pass more proofs. So let me go ahead and do 60 this time to see if the next 30 will make this plot valid. And here it actually tells you that this is an invalid plot, but that's not shown in the GUI. Okay, so now that I did the next 30, we get actually an acceptable ratio. However, this plot's still invalid and it still comes across an error. So should you delete this plot? Well, if you have more plotting to do, you have more space, just continue to plot. And then when you're done, maybe come back and delete the plots that are causing this error, if that makes sense. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to find duplicate plots. So you might be you know, creating plots on one machine and then moving them to the next or whatever and you just want to find the duplicates real fast. Well, we can use the dash L parameter to do that. So let me go to my remote machine. Okay, so I've copied a plot over to another folder, and let me add that real fast to the directory. So I can do chia um, plots add directory.
uh, the dash D for directory, and then I'm going to, it's on my desktop. So I'm going to add this directory, and then we're going to do a Chia block, uh, plot check. So let's do Chia plots um, check. And then now we're actually going to do dash N zero. So now if you normally run this, it actually won't let you run it at all because uh, it, it's below the five minimum. So this is only for checking to find duplicates. So let's do the dash uh, N from zero and then dash L to list out duplicates. And then here you can see that it did find duplicates. So these two plot files are the exact same. So this will be an effective way to find it so that you don't have to run a plot check even of, a, of five challenges to find these duplicates. All right, so let me go ahead and delete the duplicate file. And run the same command. And here you can see that um, it was checking for duplicate IDs and it didn't output any because it didn't found, find any. Now the last thing I want to talk about, and it's been discussed on the subreddit quite a bit, is whether or not there's a plot quality. And honestly, I thought there wasn't because of based on what people were saying. But on the official wiki, at least right now, it does say that there is qualities of plot. So it says in theory, a plot with a ratio of greater than one would be more likely to win challenges on the blockchain. Likewise, a plot with less than one is less likely. But they do say, however, in practice, this actually is, isn't going to be noticeable. And so therefore, you shouldn't worry about it unless it's significantly less than one um, for many uh, challenges. And from my um, test, I haven't found any that didn't live up to this. You know, if you increase the challenges to a thousand or as you increase it, it's going to get closer and closer to one. So I would essentially not worry about any that are less than point, you know, seven. And even then, do more challenges, and you will see that it gets closer to one. So I hope this video was helpful, and I hope it cleared out, cleared up some things. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. Thank you. Bye.